Now let's understand about the string. What is string? A string is nothing but a, it is a collection of a character. So you can see we have represented the hello, right? Hello is nothing but it is a, a string. So how actually we represent the string with a double quote, with a single quote and the triple quote. Now let's understand when to use a double quote, single quote and the triple quote. So suppose your requirement is like you had to write hello and s. Hello, so you had to write. So if you will use a double quote here, this will work. But if you will use a underscore s in the single quote itself, this will throw error. So whenever you have to represent the string like this, whenever you have to declare a string like this, then you can go for the double quote and this will work perfectly. Otherwise, uh, you have a, if you have to define a single string, then double quote and single quote both will work. But if you have to write like this, right, then go for the double quote. Now when to use a triple quote. So suppose you have a, this kind of the paragraph is there. Now that paragraph actually you have to represent, then you can use a triple quote that will work. If I'll execute, this is working. So like this, actually, we can represent the string. We can use a double quote. We can use a single quote. And also, we can use a triple quote. Now, let's understand about the key feature. The strings are mutable. Immutable means we cannot change any value. So once you will declare the string, you cannot change that. That is the first thing. Second is like, it is a powerful built-in method for the text manipulation. So string generally we use for the text manipulation, right? So nowadays, uh, this uh, NLP and uh, Gen AI, which is becoming more famous, right? So for the text manipulation, it is uh, very useful. Now it is widely used in a file handling, data processing and the user interface. Now let's see few method, inbuilt method, which is available. So we have seen like how actually we can represent the string. So let me create uh, one variable. Variable name is A and uh, let me write hello, hello world. Hello world something I will write. Now what actually I want to do, I want to convert this hello world into the upper case. Then how actually I can represent, if I will use a dot upper, this is the method which is available. If I will do this, you can see this whatever the string is there that converted into the upper case. Similarly, suppose you have a, you want to convert into the lower case. Suppose I have a like this, hello world something. This kind of the string is there. Now I want to convert into the lower case. So we have a lower method. So if I'll use a b dot lower, it will work. B dot lower. If I'll do, you can see it converted into the a lower case. So with the help of the upper and a lower, we can convert into the lower case or upper case. Now let's see how actually we can remove the white space. Suppose uh, you have a string like this. So let me represent the string. Uh, hello and we have a world world and we have a so many spaces similarly before starting we have a so many space so this space actually i want to remove so in a starting and end space i want to remove so we have a strip method which is available a dot strip if you write and if you execute you can see this all the unnecessary spaces are there it will remove that similarly if you use a dot l strip you can see it removed only the left side and if you use a dot r strip, it will remove only the uh, right side spaces. But if you use a dot strip, it will remove from the left spaces as well as the right spaces. You can see this is the final output. So you, we can use a strip method for removing the white space. Now let's see we have a replace method. So suppose we have a string like this. This is the variable. So if I want to replace this world with a hello only, so how actually I can do? So first you have to write a dot replace and uh, this one you want to replace right so first you have to mention that with what actually you want to replace so i want to replace this with hello only hello and if i'll execute you can see this world right this got replaced with the hello only so like this actually we can use a replace for replacing any string now let's see about the another method uh, that is a split method so suppose you have a a string like this hello world uh, how are you something i will mention how are you and this we have now what actually i want to do if i'll use a, a dot split split is one of the method if i'll use a dot split and if i'll execute you can see whatever the string is there right it got converted into the one list 
so when you will use a split right so what actually it will do it will convert your string into the list so you can see wherever the space is there right based on that actually it converted the uh, list and it converted into the item so hello is one item world is one item comma is one item how is one item r is one item u is one item so suppose this space is not not there hello world is there now you can see hello world it consider together so wherever the space is there based on the space actually it is converting that now suppose i will mention a dot split and i will mention based on the comma i want to split the whole thing so you can see this hello world this consider together and then based on this how are you it is considering the second item of the list so if you are not mentioning anything by default what actually it will do it will consider the space and based on that it will split and it will convert into the list so split is also one of the matter that will be helpful if you have to convert the string to the list and you want to perform some operation there now let's see about the string concat so suppose i have a two string one is the a equal to the hello i will write and i have another string b equal to the manish this is the two string we have now if i want to add both so if i write a dot b you can see hello manish is there so like this actually we can concat two things so suppose i want a space also so what i will write a plus this space and b if i write like this you can see hello manish so like that actually we can combine and we can concat the two string using the plus operator now let's see about the f string f string is also very much important so suppose now let's understand about the f string so suppose i have a one variable variable name is manish variable name is manish now what actually i want to print i want to print like this hello and the name whatever the name i am passing right that actually i want to pass so what actually i want this name right this name should represent the manish that is what actually i want so if i will execute this so you t you can see it is printing the whole thing hello name only but what actually i want this name actually i want to take from this particular variable so in this case what actually you can write you can use a curly braces here now here also if you will execute right this this is considering the hello name only but what i want this name actually i want to take it from this variable so in this that case we can use a f string so you have to start with the f then the same thing now if you we'll execute you can see hello money city is printing now let's let's take a user input so name i will take a user input so i will use a input function what i will put what is your name your name now user will enter his name and what actually i want i want to print hello and the this particular name hello name so what actually we will use we will use the f string because this particular value we want to pass here right so like that actually we will represent now suppose anyone is suppose we are executing so it is asking like to enter your name so let me write my name manish so you can see hello manish it is printing now let me execute once again i will write ram and if i will execute you can see it is printing the hello ram so like that actually we can use a f string and it is a important also 